right, I got some L brackets, some shelving brackets here attaching the top to the table, just screwed in, kind of keep it from moving around. It's not really going to hold it perfect, but just keep it from sliding around so I don't, my measurements don't get messed up. I got my other bolt down there, so I got all eight adjustable bolts. Now looking down the table, I can see it's got a little bit of a wave in there. Um, if I can't get that out of there with the feet adjusting, I might have to shim between the table and the top. I'll use some something thin, something around here that's thin. I don't have to go buy any shims. Maybe some sheet metal I'll cut up in some little squares or something. Uh, the first thing I want to do really to start getting an idea of what the table looks like is I'm going to lay some I'm going to lay some tape and some strategic spots here. And then I'm going to measure the level at these spots and start to get, start to move the legs around until each one of these spots is real close to level. Close as I can. I saw this little trick on, uh, on YouTube for um, leveling a pool table. I figured it's pretty similar. feet, the four corners uh, lowered, they're lowered as much as it'll go, and the center as I have them ran out just touching. And then I, I had a couple low spots, I can look underneath and see some light through a couple low spots, so I shoved some uh, some shims in there. And I got some of these plastic shims, but they're pretty thick, so I used some cardstock, I cut up some cardstock and shoved in there, so it looks it works pretty good. So I'm going to go through and start... Um, putting a level on these spots or right next to them and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to put a little arrow on the tape to show which direction is lower so which way it's slanting towards and then when I'm done I'll have a bunch of arrows pointing a bunch of different directions and that'll give me a starting point to know which one to to, uh, to adjust. Let's do it! All right, I got most of the table level and all the all the main spots, all the spots. It's pretty close to level. It's like that pretty much everywhere. I do have a couple of bows that I can't get rid of. There's one here. I don't know if I'll be able to see it. It's a pretty small bow. A little gap under that guy right there in the middle. Kind of sucks, but I got it shimmed with wood, with cardstock. I got my brackets holding it down on the cardstock. About as straight as I can get it with this table. I mean, it's pretty good. It's not perfect, for sure. But it's pretty good. I got some tubes laid down. Nothing's clamped to anything or any tacks or anything. I'm just kind of laying it out, seeing, uh, getting a feel for the layout on the table. I think I might want to bring this rear tube all the way to the edge like such so I can easy clamp it on the outside and then I'll make I'll tack this rectangle together square double triple check in my square and then kind of go from there um, these front long tubes here my angles are messed up on those I think that was the chop saw that did that. Those are supposed to be touching all the way. So, and they're not. Looks like a 
turns up there pretty good. This is like 72.6 degrees right here. Got a bit of a gap there. So these might have to get recut if I can't grind, if I don't have enough material to grind them, which they're pretty, they should be pretty precise. If I change the angle of the dangle here, it's going to make it shorter, so I might have to put a whole new tube. Dang! Just to be 72.6. Yeah, I'm off there somehow. I was using the chop saw on these and it just didn't just didn't give me the angles I needed. There's too much drift in that blade. So um, I believe tonight, hopefully sometime soon, Shinodes, good bud Shinodes is gonna be dropping off a bandsaw for me. That'll be a whole nother project, a whole nother video. It's a Harbor Freight 4x6 bandsaw. And it needs to be it needs to be modified and tweaked and set up properly in order to work right. So that might be a video on that. Before I weld anything, I stripped everything off the table again. I need to mark the center line of this board here. It's like 49 and 1 8 inches. So 24 and 7 16. Freaking hate fractions. Freaking frack. Also, I did purchase, I did order my metric slash fractional tape measure. It's on the way. It's on the way. It's a little easier to wrap my head around than 49. One eight is O one two five, so forty nine point one two five divided by two is twenty four point five six five six two. Twenty four point five six two five. Six two five is one sixteenth, right? Yeah. So nine sixteen. I'm so stupid. I just can't wrap my head around fractions. So twenty four nine sixteen. That line's real close to that. Close. Problem is the table isn't exactly 49 and an eighth all the way down. Over here on this end of the table, it's just a touch under. Let me try and get it straight as I can. It's like now what I can do is every tube that I cut with the correct length and then mark a center line on that tube and then line it up with this that way It's all centered and true and straight and pretty too. What happened? B1 and B2 is 40. That's not the right tube. This is the right tube. Yeah, 40 is easy to divide in half.
does it look like inside a four inch intercooler tube? Four inches. Can you see me? Hello? 